welcome back to my channel. She goes by India. Yup, that's me. As always, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button. Hit that bell notification. Leave a comment down below and let's get to it. Sorry for the interruption, but before I continue on, I just want to say firsthand, I apologize for the lighting. I have no idea what was going on, so please forgive me for the lighting. I honestly think it's the filter that I have on during the whole video, so forgive me for that. Thank you and enjoy. Welcome back to my channel. It's India, and no, I'm not naked. I have clothes on. You know what I mean? But anyway, right now I'm about to start on dinner. And what I'm going to do is a quick little pasta dish, which I'm making some, I think these are, I think these are veggie, rotini, if I'm saying it right. Also, what's going to accommodate this is with some chicken ground meat that I made prior, like I think a day or two ago. So yes, leftover night it is. See you soon. In front of me, I have two pots, different sizes. This is going to be for the pasta, and this one is going to be for the um, ground chicken meat. I'm going to preheat it in this pot, okay? I have, in the big pot, I have hot water. I'm going to let that come to a boil, and then I'm going to start placing in the ground chicken meat in this one. Here's the ground chicken meat. Sorry if the lighting's not good. Go ahead and start placing it into the small pot. Yes, this ground meat already has spaghetti sauce, but obviously I don't know what happens. Somehow, some way, it looks like if the spaghetti sauce evaporated. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to season it a little bit more just with adobo. Just a little because this meat is already seasoned. As you see already, the pot where this pasta is going to go is already starting to boil. So soon I'm going to go ahead and dump the pasta in. But before that, I'm going to go ahead and get the sp leftover spaghetti sauce that I have and place it into the pot okay I'm adding the pasta sauce or I added the pasta sauce so now I'm gonna go ahead and give it a mix and once I let this all you know combine together I'm gonna put the top on it and let it just preheat because like I said before this is already cooked looking good nice and saucy again I'm gonna cover it up And let it cook so now I'm gonna go ahead and place the top for the meat over and I'm also gonna lower the fire like I said before is already cooked so we're just trying to warm it up as you see in this pot over here where the spaghetti goes where the pasta is gonna go um, I'm gonna go ahead and start placing it into the pot because the water is boiling look how beautiful those colors look Okay, now I'm going to get a, a little spatula so I can mix it. And now I'm going to go ahead, give it a mix. Okay, and now we're just going to let it do what it does. And we'll be right back when it's close to being done or, yeah, when it's close to being done. I came back on real quick because I wanted to show you I added the rest of the spaghetti sauce. No sense in just leaving this little bit left in the container might as well just use it all so i'm gonna go ahead mix it and we're gonna go ahead again cover it up and let it do what it do okay i'm back pasta is looking good there's still enough water inside for the pasta to get fully cooked when i come back it should be done stay tuned Okay, my tribals, basically the water is fully evaporated because I started hearing it like, like if it was sizzling. And it is because as you see, it's a little sticky on the bottom. No water at all. Look at this. No water at all. You see, now I don't have to use a strainer to strain out any water. Nice and fluffy. Now, the trick that I use to... Keep the noodles separate is butter. There's people that use oil and stuff. I use butter. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and mix it. 
I need two hands for this. Mix it. And I promise you, once you, any type of pasta, at the end, when it's fully done, for it not to stick to each other, you add butter, and I promise you, even if you put away pasta, have left over and you put it away, the next day, the pasta still will be separated. So this is done, and the meat is done. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is start the plating. Mm, I can't wait to eat. Stay tuned, because I might just do a little mukbang. Yum yum. And remember, always put God first.